Well, hello everybody, it's Ian Marshall. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna discuss the 10 things that you should or should not do in a job interview. Now, for those of you watching, you may or may not know this, but I actually happen to own a company. My responsibility at my company is to interview all different types of candidates for different types of positions within our organization. So I know there are a lot of videos and a lot of lists on the internet about what you should and shouldn't do in interviews. So take it from me, someone who literally interviews all the time, here are some tips for you for your next big job interview. So jumping right into number one, and this may be one of the most important things that you can do when you're attending your next job interview, is make sure to bring a copy of your resume. I can't tell you how many times people arrive at my office to meet with me for the first time, and the document that got them in front of me in the first place is something they don't have. And then either myself or someone else is forced to go and print a copy of the resume. So always bring a copy of the document that got your foot in the door. Number two, the next most important thing that I would say is always make sure to dress professionally. And listen, I understand that budget is a concern, but let me tell you, I know when someone has really thought about what they're gonna wear, they've put their nicest possible clothes that they own on. So whether you have really nice clothes or whether you don't have a lot of money to spend on clothes, just make sure to put an effort into what you're wearing. Don't show up in jeans and a t-shirt or workout wear or yoga pants. Wear something that you would wear to meet your boyfriend or girlfriend's parents for the first time. Moving on to number three, be honest, but don't give it all away. I can't tell you the number of times that I have been interviewing someone when I asked them about their most recent employer and why they decided to leave the job and they take it way too far. I start hearing about all the problems they have with their boss, all the problems they have with their coworkers, all the problems they had with the things that their job entailed. And often that can lead to things that you don't want to come up in a job interview. So like I said, be honest, but girl, keep it close to the vest. Don't give it all away. You don't wanna give it all away on date number one. Number four, and this is something that's huge to me personally. And listen, if you know anything about me, you know that I am all about self-expression and being true to yourself and being proud of who you are. But when you're coming to a job interview, do not hide things like hairstyles, tattoos, piercings, etc. There was a time that I interviewed somebody. I quite liked them. I ended up offering them a job. During the interview, they had really nice long brown hair. And during the meeting, they asked if it would be okay if they were to change their hairstyle while they worked for us. So of course I said, absolutely. As long as it's nothing too crazy, because obviously we want to maintain a professional image when we're dealing with our clients. So like I said, during the interview, she had long brown hair. And on her first day when she showed up, instead of having the long brown hair, she had hair about this long, it was in a mohawk, and it was strikingly blue. And I mean blue like a wild berry slurpee, honey. It, it was insane. Would that have changed my opinion about hiring her? Probably not. But the fact that she hid it for me put a bad taste instantly in my mouth. Jumping right into number five, and I know I said that point number one was probably the most important, but actually I've changed my mind. Number five is the most important thing you can do for a job interview, and that is to make sure that you are not late. Being late for a job interview basically assures that you will not get the job. Now listen, I understand that things happen, things come up, emergency situations happen, but make sure if you are going to be late that you call the person that you're supposed to meet with and let them know that you are going to be late. Try to avoid being late at all costs. Calling may help you, but showing up late and not calling and then coming in with an excuse is a sure ticket to you not getting the job. Number six, the dreaded question at the end of pretty much every interview that you will ever have is, do you have any questions for me? And please, for the love of God, prepare yourself. Be prepared for your interview. Even if you don't know what to ask, 
make sure you have a list of generic questions that you can ask the person who's interviewing you. It shows that you've put some thought into the whole process and that you're actually interested in the role. Number seven, make sure your phone is either turned off or put on silent. There is probably nothing worse than during an interview to have your phone either go off or ring. I once actually had somebody answer their phone during an interview, but that's a story for another time. All I'm saying is make sure that damn phone is shut down, turned off, zipped off. Number eight, please, please don't bring your parents, your sister, your brother, your uncle, your aunt, your best friend, or your neighbor to an interview. If you need a ride or somebody's driving you, that's perfectly fine, of course. Let them sit in the car, but please do not bring them inside the establishment or the office or wherever you're meeting the person who's interviewing you. Showing up with a friend or family member is definitely a big no-no. Number nine, do not, I repeat, do not swear during an interview. Do I need to say anything else? Don't swear. I've had it happen and just don't do it. And listen, I'm not one to talk about swearing because girl, you know I have a mouth like a trucker. But being able to control what is coming out of your mouth is key in pretty much any situation. And finally, number 10. This is something that's definitely going to get you extra brownie points. Make sure to do some research on the company that you're interviewing with. Go to the website, look at their about section, learn about the services they offer, learn about the mission of the company, and if there's a section about the growth or the changes that they're going through, make sure to thoroughly read the job posting and even do some outside research. You'd be surprised, there's a lot of information on the internet about all kinds of different companies, and it's super important that you have a general idea of what the company is all about, and I can assure you that there will be questions testing whether or not you've done your research. So anyway, that's all I have for this week's video. I hope this video has given you some good takeaways for your next job interview. And because you're watching this, I assume you probably have an interview in the near future, or maybe you just love looking at this pretty face. Either way, I'm wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. And before you go, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below. I post new videos every single week and I would love it if you would join the party. If you'd like to follow me off camera, you can do so on Twitter or Instagram. Both of those are just at Ian R. Marshall. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know how your interview went or if you have any tips for anybody else who may be heading out on a job interview in the near future. Anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching this week's video and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.